Toya at her Mother's Day brunch in Orlando hosted by Miss Pumpkin. So let's get to it. manager left my cowboy boots and my and my dress it's his fault <laughs> that I don't look all cute and girly like y'all y'all look so beautiful today thank you I just want to say thank you so much for having me I really enjoy coming out to do events like this you know I'm such a girl's girl I love to you know collaborate with other beautiful women and mothers, you know, to have discussions, have a good time, brunch, chill, have some fun. So thank you, Orlando, for having me. I'm looking forward to an amazing time with you guys while I'm here. Yeah. So, Janae Carter and Rain Russian. I'm also married. I'm a married Robert. Um, I've been married, what, a year and a half now? Um, some stuff about me that you may not know. Um, I am a businesswoman, business I own multiple businesses, I own Before Bedheads, I own Wait No More, I stepped into the fitness world with my husband to help in a fight against obesity within our community. So we opened our first fitness studio called Wait No More Studios where we, you know, welcome a lot of people into our studio to, you know, teach them the importance of health and fitness which started out, you know, as 5K walk runs and then we turned it into a whole fitness family, whole fitness community. Um, also, I do television. Also, I have a new show called Toy and Regine. We are now shooting the second season of our show. I've been a best-selling author. I've written plenty of books. I'm working on a new book as we speak now. You know, just talking about where I am now. I have been through a lot in my life, made plenty of different transitions from heartbreak to losing people in my life to business decisions that just didn't work out. Um, just talking about the 40 year old version of me and how I found love after I thought that, you know, that was something that I completely would never do again. You know, um, just me being a new mom, raising a six year old and also just still, you know, raising my 25 year old, you know? Um, hold on. <laughs> Um, what else? He made me lose my train of thought. Um, I also have a new movement called Sis I Celebrate You, where I celebrate lots of beautiful women and their accomplishments and just teaching women that there's power to collaborate with each other and what can come from that. You know, I believe closed mouths don't get fed. So when we have the opportunity to be in a room full of amazing women and bosses, we have to take, you know, advantage of those opportunities. And um, some of my events that I've hosted, I have women that ended up partnering and coming out doing some amazing things like concierge service. They started all type of businesses, you know, where they were able to benefit, you know, from each other and different things like that. So that's what it's all about. Like, I don't like the whole crab in a bucket syndrome. I feel like it's room out there for all of us to win. You know, when you go to these stores and you see all of these different brands in the Walmarts, the Targets, the CVS, like people are going to pick up the products that they love and they identify with. So that right there should let you know that it's room out there, you know, for all of us. So no need to hate on yourself at the tone of you being you are the kid and that's the respect level that, you know, we need to have. Um, I don't know what's going on with this new generation, but um, clearly something is not being done right. You know, like they are, they have um, 
a different way of like their respect for adults is just I don't know it's just so different I hate it and that's why I say the same it takes a village because if people really went by that saying and really helped each other out and corrected these kids when they were wrong, I don't think it would be as bad as it is now. It's like you can't tell them nothing. They're so high-headed. They think they know everything. You know, they, I, they're just different. But um, I would say just be there for your kid. Understand what they are going through. Always create that safe space where they can come and talk to you about anything. She have a million and one activities at school. So it's like, I'm an active parent, so I have to do this on top of making sure that my household is good, making sure that I date my husband, making sure I date my kids. You know what I'm saying? I have a 25 year old that thinks she needs the same attention as a six year old. So it's like, it's, it's a lot, but I feel like we are super one women and we make it happen, but that, that question looks different for each and every last one of us in this room. But you have to make time for what's important to you. Like people always used to be like, oh, I gotta work, I can't do this. Oh, I gotta do this, I can't do that. You make time for what's important, period. Yeah. Period, who next? <laughs> Space to be in, but you have to have that tunnel vision. Like you have to stay focused. You have to keep your eye on what it is that you want to accomplish, whether it's true love, whether it's a new business, whether it's having a kid, if you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like all kinds of different things like that. When you're going through that transitional space and things are always not good for you, you know, you feel like giving up, like it's like everything just falling apart in your life that whole space there is just not a good space to be in but you have to keep going you have to always remember that you know this is the ultimate goal you know i'm gonna find my dream husband i'm gonna get my dream job i'm gonna do you know you have to speak manifest things and speak it into existence and not let when life get the life in you have to still you know navigate